265, right? So you found that hidden pair that you didn't see at first. All right, so now we can go ahead and at least set up this sine of 63 degrees over 30 meters. All right, I'm going to scroll up a little bit so you can see it. All right, so I start with a pair and then equals. I basically will come up with another pair. And again, you want side M. Therefore, you need to use the angle across, right? These ones are across each other like that. So sine of, you're going to have to go sine of 32, not 85. If you use 85, you're going to find this side over here, which we right now don't care about. So cross multiply and divide. M is 30 times sine of 32 over sine of 63. Okay, make sure you write this down, folks. And then we go sine of 32 divided by sine of 63, and that's 17.84 meters. That is the length of the tree. Length of tree, not to be confused with the height of the tree. Uh, so if a tree is leaning a little bit, the height of the tree is straight from the ground to the top, right? That would be the height. So we found the length of the tree. Now we're going to find the height, and that is going to be new for you today, okay? So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make a diagram. I'm basically going to take this original and I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go from T straight down to the base and I'm going to copy some of that information over. So this is what happens, okay? You go straight down like this and this is your ground here. Okay, and let's call this H for height. This I just figured out is 17.84 meters. I, so let's make an arrow from the top down so we know that where we got that from. And I know this angle here is what? 85. So I basically took a sliver out of the original and I brought it down here. What's the angle in this corner here? You would like to measure your height at a 90, right? Joey, were you going to say that? Okay. Yes. So you automatically put a 90 degree there because that you're measuring the height. Okay. You would never want to measure the height of a person in an angle, right? You would always want to go straight at a 90 degree up, right? So there's your height. Got that, that, that. Do you have a pair? Yes, you do. Watch this. This is your pair. What this box tells us that this is 90 degrees, correct? So you know the angle and you know the side across from it. That's your pair. So we're going to go sine of 90 degrees over 17.84 is equal to sine of 85 because if we use sine of 85 we're effectively going to find the side that's across from that angle h and so you cross multiply and divide so sine of 85 and I'll show you something that you may not have known up until this point. Let's figure out what that is first. And then I'll add some notes to this section here. 17.84 times sine of 85. Watch what happens when I hit equals. If I hit equal like that and then go divide it by sine of 90, nothing is going to change. 
and I'll explain that in a bit, but let's, let's write down this information, 17.77, and we are in meters. Height of tree. And I'll make a note here. Calculating the height means that you will have a right triangle. Calculating the height means that you will have a right triangle, so you can actually guarantee that box in there. So it's okay to cut a triangle as long as you transfer the correct information, right? Okay, we're good with that. All right, so this is something that, right, is new. Uh, I don't know if you want to just highlight calculating the height so that if you flip through your notes, it's there, right? It's like, oh, okay, this is a height, this is how you do the height again. Back side here, 266, we have, uh, by the way, guy wires. Have you heard of that before? If you use trig, if you had me in the years past, you'd know for sure what a guy wire is. If you didn't have me before, I'll explain it to you, okay? Guy wire, uh, a wire, that supports a pole, right? So it could be used in fencing, it could be used, the hydro uses it all the time, right? The little wires on an angle with a, sometimes they have a yellow jacket around it so you don't cut your head off, right? As you run past it, it's not that bad, but anyways, uh, they, they do have guy wires all the time to just hold something up or support it so that it doesn't bend the other way, right? So don't worry about that too much, but that, that's a classic trig uh, keyword for trig, okay? Uh, one wire is 3.7 meters long. I will do less and less labeling on the diagrams, so you have to know where to put that info, okay? One wire is 3.7 long, and the second a second guy wire is attached to the pole 1.25 meters higher than the first wire. So right, the first wire here, the second wire is a little bit higher up. From the, from the same anchor point, that means that they're anchored, right, they're put on the ground at the same point, both of them. The angle made between the two wires is 10 degrees. What is the length of the second wire? Okay. So if you think about it, there's a triangle here. There's a big triangle here. And then there's a triangle here. So there's three triangles. So it's like what's happening here. And this this particular case, there's various approaches you can take. I will actually just take this one out, this one here. So let's redraw this right here. So I'm just gonna go like that, like that, and like that. Okay. We know that this wire is 3.7 meters. This side is 1.25 meters. 
this is my x, right? Like my question mark. And I know that this is 10 degrees here. Make sure the 10 degree comes over here. What about the 2.5, you may ask? I'm not taking it with me because um, the reason why they did it is because they want you to be able to use right triangles as well as oblique triangles. Do you remember the difference? The right triangles have 90 degree angles and the ones that don't, they call called oblique. So we're just going to stick with oblique, okay? It's much easier. You have a pair there. So I'm going to go over here and say sine of 10 degrees over 1.25 meters is equal to, do I have the angle that's across? No, I don't, right? But I, I, can, uh, I can probably use the 3.7 to help me find that angle up there because I have the side. So let's label these things. A, B, C. That's the classic to go with, right? So I'm going to, I can find sine of this angle, whatever you call it. We called it B. And the 3.7 meters is going to go below, right? Uh, I'll just make a note here. Can't solve angle C yet, right? Sorry, you can't see that there. I cannot solve for angle C yet, so I have to do B first. Cross multiply and divide. So you're going to have to be good investigators and try things, right? <clears throat> 3.7 times sine of 10 degrees divided by 1.25. So you're solving for an angle, which means that to find angle B, you're going to have to take the inverse of whatever you get here. If you can follow along with a calculator, that's, that's great. And it's 0 0.51399 and so forth. Like that. I'm going to take the inverse. So angle B is going to give me 30.93 degrees. I'm just going to underline it because it would definitely be worth marks when you if you if this were to be on a test, right? Now that we have B, I want to, I'm, I'm going to solve for angle C by going 180 minus the 10. Minus the one I just found. So that is... One thirty nine oh seven degrees. Also underline because that's important. And I will make a note now. We can find um, I call it X, right? On my diagram. I'm just going to go back and call it C, all right? Can you do that too, please? Because we call this angle C, so this will be lowercase c. And then I'm going back here and continue. Now we can find side C, right? And I will make an arrow go up and over. So now I can find side C. So I'm going to start with the pair I had from the beginning. That's your best bet. And then you're going to say, well, sine of that angle C over uh, side C. 
and now you're finding a side length, so no inverse necessary. by sine of 10 and that is 4.7715 so it would round to 72 okay 72 meters that is ultimately what the question is asking us for this is the length of second wire is this a long Question? Absolutely. So now that we know how to use a sign law, you just have to apply it and know how to apply it, right? And I always use the pair for everything I do. I use the pair that I'm given, solving angle and solving side, right? Everything in one, one place. Oops, sorry. All right. I'm going to ask you to try the question right after this, 267. And you can keep going, but I, I will try to give enough time for you to just finish. It's one full page, right? It's A, B, and C. So try to read and understand, like, what do I need to do here, okay? Uh, it really will test your knowledge of, of the sign law. I'm going to pause this here. All right, folks, I will go over this one and uh, see how you do or how you did, I should say. So the question is describing the scenario, right? Uh, there are uh, two people and they're 20 meters apart. And they, small, they spot a pika, which is a small mammal, on opposite side of the creek. And so the first question is asking, how far is cat from that mammal? So they're asking for this distance. And I don't know if you want to call that x, right? Uh, that's the distance that they're asking for. And uh, I, I look at my, my triangle here. And I'm trying to see if I have a pair. Is there even a pair possible? And if this is angle P up here, and this is angle K, this is angle S, if you look at the big triangle out here, okay, I'm just gonna highlight the big triangle. Don't worry about what's in the middle. There could be a, many lines in the middle. Uh, if you look at, this triangle here, K, P, S, we know that this is 17, this is 36, you can easily find angle P, and this is my unknown here, which I should call, you can call it X, you can call it lowercase s, right? But angle P is 180 minus 17 minus 36, okay? So angle P, is going to be 127 degrees important to me right and now I have a pair because I know that this is 20 meters and if this is 127 here I have a pair I can use sine law so sine of 127 over 20 is equal to I need to use this guy over here right if I'm interested on that side, I need to find and use the angle across from it, so that's lowercase s. Lowercase s is cross multiply and divide. Okay, and so side s will be 14.72 meters. 
And I'm just checking, does that make sense? It's smaller than the 20 meters, which is my largest, longest side is across largest angle so far, so yes, we're good. Okay, so that would be the distance here on, on this side. Now it's saying how far is Steve from the mammal? I will proceed the same way as I did before. I'm gonna borrow the information I already gathered above. But now I have to use 17. Right, this is lowercase k over here, lowercase s over here. So if I wanna find k, I gotta use 17. So sine of 17 degrees over K, and it's the same thing as before. K is 20 times sine of 17 divided by sine of 127. And if you do that correctly, it should be the shortest side of them all. Okay. It should be the shortest side of them all because it's across the smallest angle, so we're good. So there you have the first two answers, and now how wide is the creek, right? This is where you need to be creative, okay? Uh, split triangle in two parts. Okay, use one part only, okay, pick wisely, okay, pick wisely, like the one, the triangle with the most information is the one you want, in this case they both have equal amounts of information, so it doesn't matter which one you pick, if I pick the long side here, Let's make this dashed so that you can tell, right? This is W. Uh, I already found that this is 14.72. Uh, you know that this is um, 17. And this we don't know, right? You don't know the long side because you cut it, okay? It's not 20. And what is this here? It's going to be a 90, right? So you actually have a pair. So you're going to go sine of 90 over 1472 is equal to sine of 17 because it's a cross W, right? If you pick the other side, you should get very close, if not the same answer as we are getting with this, the left side of that original. So 1472 times sine of 17 divided by sine of 90. W is 4.30 meters. That's the width of the creek. Okay, couple things here. Type in sine of 90 and see what you get. Or 90 sine for some of you, right? You'll get one, okay? So that's why nothing changes when you divide by sine of 90 because it's one, okay? Um, so that's that. So obviously we didn't get to cosine law. You can, you can handle not knowing about cosine law for one more day, right? Maybe. I'm so excited. Anyways, I would like you not, right? Not excited. I'm not excited, Mr. Dripson. Uh, let me just give you the answers here. This one asks for how far will you have to roll if he travels from point A to B? to C and back to A, so it's like a round trip. The answer is, write this down, that's on the on 268, question seven. 
And I also want you to try that example underneath it. And I will tell you the answer for that question underneath. Angle DAC is going to be 3751. That's, uh, that's the answer you're supposed to get there. Question. Where is angle DAC? Where would you locate that? DAC, where would it be? Stop me if I get there. Is it this? No? Is it this? This one? No, it's not even D, right? Is it this one? Yeah. And I'll tell you the secret. Um, if you look at the letters DAC, angle DAC is telling you if you start with B and then connect to A, and from here you connect to C, right? The angle that you form between those two sides is the one you're after. So the middle, the middle letter is usually where it's going to be situated at. Okay. How would you call this one over here on the other side? Important choice, right? B A C. That's correct. B A C. Then you're talking about this one. Can you refer to this one here just as angle A? This split sliver here? The answer is no. Because it's split in two, right? So you gotta be careful with that notation. Uh, update your study sheets.